Hey Tubulars, we're back and today we're going to have a look out Leaf motor gearbox setup dropped in the engine bay. We'll have a quick look at it and see what my next plan of action is going to be and maybe some advice from any mechanical engineers out there to see if I'm what they may think but this is my only course of action I think next so I've got the Leaf motor and the motor and gearbox just hanging on the engine crossbar so let's have a look and see what stage I'm at as you can see it's just sitting there in the correct position now so let's see what's going on currently we have the motor in gearbox sitting in situ I haven't linked anything up because I just want to I know it's in the correct position because if you can see where the gear shifter is that's exactly in the right place there but before I go ahead and do any sort of setting up engine mounts which is a motor mounts which is pretty much what this episode's about today um, i'm gonna connect up the prop shaft going through to the rear diff to make sure it's exactly in the right position before i'll do the final welding but my main concern is at the moment is designing motor mounts now for this thing so that's where it's got to be at so if we can show you where the original motor mounts are this fork part here was one of the motor mounts which is not an option now I think I'm gonna to have to chop that off there now because that that's where the outlets are for the water cooling for the motor and as for this one it's actually under the car I'll get under the car and show you what I mean and also the, the original engines sat within a, um, on the subframe of the car the front subframe which I don't think it's possible now because there's just not enough space to try and pick up on anything and as you can see the steering box is right there in the middle and you've got the other side of the steering linkage on the other side ultimately what I wanted to do was pick up the motor from the I don't know some of you guys think I thought because there's, there's a tiny little rubber mount at the other end of the gearbox that holds it in situ. So I need to create two mounts at the front here. But the way it's looking, the mounts are going to have to be picked up at the end of the motor, which I really didn't want to do. I thought it'd be better if it was more balanced in the middle. As you can see, these two chains at the front are what are doing all the work. This one's not really doing anything, this chain. So you can see the seesaw action. That is pretty much balanced in the middle. So... I suppose any way past this point here would have been ideal. So what my idea is, and tell me what you think, if it's good or bad, is I'm thinking of making something that will weld onto the chassis. This is the, if you can visualize the chassis frame. That's these bars here. That goes across there. So what I'm thinking of doing is making a cradle. So I was thinking of making some like little stubs that I'm going to permanently weld to the chassis rail here and then I'll build a separate piece which will be the cradle with a plate with two with some holes on it which would could then I'm thinking of a bolt in situation rather than trying so I don't think you're able to weld something well one piece in there is it may need to come out at some point so I'm thinking maybe unless I weld it as I'm going through I suppose that's that's doable as well but then I don't know if this this will need to come out at some point for whatever reason. So I'm thinking at this stage is to build these little stub bits here with the plate with holes in it. And the actual cradle will be a separate piece. We should have plate. I'm thinking of doing it without a 5mm plate and 2 inch box section. So the plate will be welded on the end of the cradle and it will bolt through onto the, the chassis. The cradle will bolt onto the end stubs there. And somehow building, I'm thinking of coming off the angles to with some rubber mounts and then linking up onto some side plates of the motor. There's some fixing holes on the sides. So I'm thinking maybe if, if I create a big plate that will come to the front-ish there and did you do there, that should be good. Let's get under the car, then you can see, I suppose, you'll see what the picture's all about. Under the car now, this would have been the original, one of the original mounts there. As you can see, uh, we can get underneath to, there's really not much space between the, mo the original mount and the bottom of the motor so that's pretty much how it's sitting and like I said I'm think I'm gonna have to cut this one off on this side 
because I need the space for the coolant pipes that will go onto the motor. So my only option is these are the chassis rails. I was thinking of just making some mounts that come off at an angle, but then I don't know if the, the structural integrity would be good enough if it was just coming off at a side. That's why I'm thinking of building a cradle now because it acts like a stabilizer across the front as well of the off the front of the motor. So I'm thinking of getting some of this stuff. I just found this off-cut piece really. This is two inch box section. I'm sure it's more than ample suitable. So what I'm thinking of doing is, if you can visualize the picture, try and not come any lower than the subframe really, ideally I suppose would be the best situation. That'll be the piece across the bottom. If you can imagine that would come down at an angle off a plate. And then off the angle would be like the stub for the, I may have to go at an angle straight on the plate rather than coming straight off, which isn't really an issue. We can look under the car there, I don't know if you can see it. There's like a, a cross rail there. And under that is a tiny little rubber mount. So that original gearbox is sitting, I suppose, theoretically in the correct place. Because that, I don't think there's any real, there might be some minor adjustment on the fixing bracket maybe. So... That's my plan of action. I can't see any other way of doing it, to be honest, to take the weight of, it's unfortunate because the way the subframe is, it's right in the middle, which is ideal, but I've also got the suspect the steering parts on it, so I've got no way of getting to anything. I looked on the forum and some people have just said, just get some five mil steel plate and just start welding off the original mount, but that's pretty much underneath it there. I assume that the, the mounts will come off at like a sort of 45 degree angle to support, take it sideways on maybe. And obviously I'm going to be losing this one on this side. Unless I can weld something. I mean ideally I suppose that is strong enough on that position because that's where the original mount was. Unless I can weld something sideways. So that will be great. That will be my next step. If I can get this taken in. If I can get this with the weight taken up on the mounts, that'll be a good step. So this is the tiny rubber mount at the end of the gearbox. I don't know if you can see it very clearly. I've put a new rubber, I've put a new mount on there. It's quite small, but it's a new rubber. I haven't bolted it on obviously because it needs to come off. It's just uh, using a fixing plate. I don't think there was any real adjustment on this to be honest. So obviously that's set, in, that's set there, whatever that is there. This is option B that I started doing actually, but I was then I sort of abandoned this idea because I didn't know if it was a good idea to go straight on the frame rails, but the actual subframe, I know it's bolted upwards, but this was my plan, this is my original plan which I abandoned, so I've got some of this, uh, this is like 5 mil plate steel, I'd have to drop the subframe to do this, this method as well. So, originally I thought this was plan B. Or plan A originally, but um, so we'll call this plan B anyway. What I thought of doing was I've made these extra brackets. I was going to bolt them in, but I think you're going to end up squashing the the box section if you if you clamp them if you bolt them in. This is going to. I don't think there's any sort of real structure inside the box frame. So maybe what I'm thinking of doing now, if if you think it's the better option, if I drop the subframe, I'll weld these in place as a support, a reinforcing plate. So I'll weld that in there. But there is a bit of a step on there, which would probably need a bit of thin plate behind that, first of all. Weld that in there, if you can visualize it. I'm gonna do this one hand operation. And I did buy these, actually. These are, um, these are like custom engine mounts. I think they were designed, I think they were like for Ford Escort Rally or something they were called, I'm not sure, but they're just, pretty much engine mounts really. So with that plate in the correct place, if you can imagine it, I can't do this two hand operation because I don't on camera. So put that there, if it would stay there. Imagine that's bolted on there or welded in there. I've got these as well, which I bought the kit, but they're quite expensive, but now this is a second option. What well, is option B? So that will get mounted in, that will get welded to the plate and there's a rubber bush, rubber bush mountain that goes across there. And I've got the other end that goes onto it. That goes in there, which we weld the bracket onto. Getting as close as I dare to the suspend the steering box there, because there are actually mounting holes on it. 
but I suppose a spanner would get to it. Arm is the steering arm that's connected to the steering wheel, as you can see it moving. So at its furthest point this way, which would never probably hit the sh chassis rail, I suppose. It would never go that far, would it? I wouldn't have thought. I could mount that on the... I could mount that to the side of it. And then ultimately, I'm probably more central under the motor here. And then I could just make some plates up and come off the side of the motor and bolt them on to the other part of the but then I'm back to that po point again where I've just got two arms coming up but I suppose if it's bolted with the motor in the middle of it then it's all rigid isn't it in effect so this is plan b guys tell me what you think do you think plan a is a better option or this plan b is a better option I'm open to both suggestions I may come back to this version because I prefer more picking up the weight in the middle if I can or should the weight be taken from the front? I don't know. I mean, it's all well bolted together on the aluminium to plate. So that's what I think. Let me know what you think. So tell me what you think, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget your tea.